Hey guys, welcome back. Today I want to show you a nice little handy tool to have around the shop or the house and it's a small lube oil extractor like this. I'm going to open up the box, put it together and show you how it works. And by the way guys, discountonlineparts.com did send it to me to make a video review to show it to you guys. And it's Argon part number 88-400 and there is a link under the video today to where you can buy this directly from their website. It has a lot of uses including oil and other liquids and mentions here that you can also use it to remove bilge water from boats, trapped water in plumbing systems. But the main reason I'll be using this is to suck out the oil from lawnmowers and different equipment. So let's get this out of the box. So as you can see it does not come fully assembled. And here's a quick view of all the parts you get with it. You get the spout, the handle, the pump, the hose, and the unit itself. Instructions here it says that you should not use this with gasoline or other flammable liquids. And do not use the unit to extract dangerous chemicals, poisons, acids, alkalines, or solvents. And also it's not designed to store the liquid that you suck out of equipment for a long time and do not store it under extreme conditions which could be really hot or really cold and don't modify the unit. And the capacity of this container is six liters so it's about a gallon and a half. And now what I'll do is just show you how to put it together for your first use. To start with I'm going to grab the handle and screw it onto the pump here. And the way the pump works is by putting it on top like this of the container. And then when you pump it, it will actually suck from here with the attachments provided. So to do that, just remove this red cap over here. And there's no threads on here. It just basically gets put on here tightly. You just push it down like this and it's on there tight. The hose on the unit is about seven feet long. And it does get reduced from this line over here, which I think is a quarter inch or 5 sixteenths inside diameter, down to this smaller line here, which ends up being about 3 sixteenths. Now this thin line here will be handy if you're removing transmission fluid, because the dipstick is quite small when you go to do that. Also to get in some very tight areas, the small line will be handy. And this bow here is to attach here once you're done, and you can pour the liquids out into whatever container. So I'm just going to put this back on. And today guys, I'll be showing you how to use this small extractor to replace the oil in your lawnmower. Now it's highly recommended guys that before you replace the oil in any engine using this extractor that you run the engine for a few minutes just to warm up the oil. This will make it a lot easier to extract all the oil out of your engine. And now to extract the oil, make sure the pump is on the container tightly like this. And also make sure this is nice and secure as well. Now I'll just remove the oil dipstick. Insert the hose right to the bottom, as far down as you can put it. And now just start pumping and the oil should start coming out. And it's very easy to pump it. And you can see the oil coming in. So pump it quite a few times. Let it sit. It's going to extract all the oil from the engine. This may take a few minutes. And you can hear the oil going into the container there. And again, it's quite important to run the lawnmower for a few minutes before you do this, just so that the oil is warm and easier to extract. And you can give it a few more pumps during the process. And when you hear that noise, it's because you're just about done extracting all the oil from the engine. And you can also lift the front of the mower as well. This will bring all the oil that's left in the engine totally to the back where the hose is. Give it a few more pumps. And 
and you should get a bit more oil that will come out of the engine. Now when you're done, just simply bring the mower back down. Have a rag ready when you remove the hose. Now add some new oil in your mower. I'm using 10W30 today. And you're going to need approximately half a liter. Or actually half a quart. And now check your oil level. And you want your oil to be within the serrated area at the bottom of the dipstick like this. And that's all there is to replacing the oil. You can see the oil in the bottom from the lawn mower. And now I'm going to show you how to drain this little tank. Now if you want to get the rest of the oil from the hose down into the tank, you can hang up the hose up for a while. It's all going to drain into the tank. So at this point I'm not going to wait, so I'm just going to unplug it. I'm going to take the pump off as well. And I'm going to put the spout on there. And I'm just going to dump the oil in my waste container. Now if you want the extractor to be completely drained, you can let it sit like this upside down. Eventually it will completely empty itself. But since I'll be using this extractor mainly to remove engine oil, I don't really care if there is a bit of oil left inside. Just a quick tip here guys, if you are putting the line away here with a bit of oil in it, you may want to have a rag sitting underneath the ends of the line because there will be a bit of oil that will come out. And here's another quick view of this extractor. I would say guys that this is not an industrial extractor. I'm only going to be using this when I do mobile calls, which is not very often. But for the homeowner and the moderate user, it's going to be a great little tool to have around the house. So thanks again for watching guys. If you do want to buy this extractor, the link is under the video. Also make sure to follow me on Facebook, Instagram and Twitter and have yourselves a great day.